Hello there, this is Mike Goldenberg trying some Pioneer. Uh, it's a format that is new to everybody, but it feels especially new to me. Um, probably just because I have so much experience and I've played modern so much. I've played modern pretty much since the beginning. There's so much history and knowledge and comfort there. Um, I've played a little bit of standard. Um, but really, it's just been modern for the last few years for me. So playing a new format with a whole new card pool, knowing needing to know what the removal spells are, what your opponent could have here and there, it's exciting. But it's also a little daunting. Um, so I've tried a couple different decks. Um, this here is Is It Phoenix? Um, so it goes a little bigger than most Phoenix decks do because I am running the three Crackling Drakes in the main. Just a card that I think is probably the best card in that deck. It's like Thing in the Ice, then Crackling Drake, and Phoenix just happens to be in there too. Uh, but let's see how it plays out. Um, a lot of lands in this hand. Strategic Planning helps me ditch them. Fiery Tempers, okay here. I, this hand doesn't have any threats. It only has one dig spell. This hand could easily flood out if I just keep drawing more lands. Um, I'm going to go as is. I'm going to go turn one mountain, hold up lightning axe, which is a pretty good removal spell. Just I have nothing good to pitch to it at the moment. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. It just doesn't do doesn't do very much. Uh, this hand is a lot better right off the bat, so we'll keep this. We have a, a turn one opt, right? We have a Phoenix to pitch with the Charter Course, so I'm going to actually bottom this mountain. Actually, no, that's uh, Sulphur Falls. It's not the one I thought it was, so I'm actually going to bottom... That's my blue source. Yeah, I thought that was the Fast Land. Hmm... Quick glance, they look almost the same, right? So I want to go turn one opt, turn two chart of course, pitch phoenix. So if that's the case, I actually want to bottom the sulfur falls here. I hope I'm not playing an aggro deck where that two or three life this is going to cost me really matters. <laughs> okay. All right. Well... Um, that is the land I thought I had, but no, I don't want that. I'm good for lands at the moment. Okay. Probably want to kill that. And I can Lightning Axe kill that, and then I can try to chart a course, fiery temper something next turn. So I like that. Let's play the Steam Vent. I'll lose one more life here. When this enters the battlefield, discard a card. Well, it seems like a, it seems a bit like upside, doesn't it? This enters the battlefield tapped, and you can return it. Of course you can. Okay. So my plan is still to Fiery Temper something next turn, so I'm just actually going to kill this now, and I'll pitch the Phoenix. And next turn I get to play Crackling Drake. Just think of where I would be if that Crackling Drake was something else. Like, if that's my third Crackling Drake, right? If that was any other threat, I wouldn't be in as good of a spot right now. But that card is just go could bring me right back into this game. <clears throat> I'll drink that <coughs> tea a bit quick. <coughs> um, so I got all my colors. Let's go blue, blue, red, red. 
Let's play this big boy. I'm flooding out a little bit here. That, that stinks. Okay. Yikes. Well, my opponent's deck looks like a ton of fun. Um, let's start off with the opt. No, thank you. Let's chart a course. Opt, chart a course. Um, let's pitch that. Um, so my opponent can, they're hellbent. Uh, what can they bring back? Dead Wanderer costs three. They can bring back a two, one each turn. It's about it. I can swing, but my opponent at 12, they'll swing back. They have a much faster clock than me. What I could do is I can double block the Rotting Regisaur with my Arclight Phoenixes. Um, and then hope I draw some stuff to start chaining them together. I don't think I'm going to win a race, so, right, I'll put my opponent at 12, they'll put me much lower, I swing back, uh, unless I draw exactly one more fiery temper, I think I just, I think I just lose that race. I was playing a uh, Soltai food deck with Rotting Regisaur, it ran Karn, and it ran the Great Henge. Riding Regisaur plus the Great Henge is a pretty sweet little thing. Okay, my opponent doesn't want him to do that trade, uh, which I'm okay with. I just play a bunch of things in the ice. I can also now block the Flame Blade Adept. Okay. I draw a Fiery Temper, I just win. It's not a Fiery Temper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> so I can't cast Treasure Cruise. That's really pretty unfortunate. Um, I want to hold this land to pitch to things in case I draw like an it Charm, but I also just want to be able to cast Treasure Cruise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I think the right thing here is just to hold it. So I can block with my things in the ice and I can kill the Blood Brage Brawler. And then I can just swing my two Arc Light Phoenixes and win the game. you block you block you okay that's game. All right, my opponent is using the graveyard, so I'm considering Ashiox. 
Um, they have really big creatures. Unfortunately, Fry doesn't hit that. Uh, Brazen Borrower is interesting at bouncing the big creatures. This lets me make a bunch of tokens to get around their big creatures. Um, <coughs> so, Wild Slash seems a bit weak. They have a bunch of X3s and bigger. Quicken's like probably the first thing I'm going to cut every single time. It's my 60th card. I tried Treasure Map there, but it's not really on curve. Treasure Map was in there to help me go big post board. It's kind of like just a main board card that lets me go big when I kind of want to drop my big stuff. So Thing in the Ice is absolute stud. Um, temper seems good along with Axe just to kill the smaller stuff. And they use their graveyard, but their graveyards, hmm. I imagine they're running one of the phoenixes. I imagine they're running the hollow one phoenix. So maybe I do want two Ashiox here. I think I'm more interested in the tokens though. Yeah, I think this is probably correct. And I'll see if my opponent runs some... If they run a bunch of graveyard hate, then I will... Like, ley lines or something, I can try to accommodate that game three. Yeah, I got a draw, then I have my opt, so I see plenty of cards to hit my second land. This is fine. Okay, no ley line. So they do have that Phoenix. What do I want to do here? Um, I want to hit my third land drop. Unfortunately, it's a bit too late here. And Fiery Temper just costs a little bit too much to kill that guy. What I was doing was opting for a Lightning Axe, which is really the only thing I could do to kill that guy so they don't get the Phoenix back. Otherwise I had to wait a turn, and now it's probably a turn too late. Because now I get to Charter Course Fiery Temper to kill their 4-3. Yeah, I still think it's what I need to do. So put me down to 10. And not having the discard two, like not having a faithless looting is pretty painful when you want to discard two things. That's fine. I have no instants or sorceries at all right now. Uh, I think I still... I can play an Arclight Phoenix, block their Flame Wake Phoenix, and that's one way I can get it into the graveyard. Yeah, I think that's the line. <coughs> and that T really hit me. It's an herbal tea, not even caffeinated. Just drink it straight the wrong way. Okay. 
Okay, and we both have a Phoenix in the graveyard, but I have an Ashiok, which you can get rid of yours. Okay. Oh, I misread Petty Theft. This is one of those things about being new to a format. I could have played Thing in the Ice and Petty Theft, uh, so that might actually end up costing me. I thought the bounce cost three. So I could have had a Thing in the Ice in play, be at four life, and my Thing in the Ice be at three counters. Okay... Instead of Ashiocking, my plan is to Lightning Axe. If my opponent played a big creature, which could get their Phoenix back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't play both. I think it's more important to play the Ashiok. So they can't play Gurmag. So we know about the Gurmag Angler in their hand. Okay, two Gurmag Anglers, all right. And there's a Regisaur. All right. So I think I'm going to win this if I just keep blocking with Arclight Phoenix and I can, if I can flip Thing in the Ice and then Thing in the Ice can be bigger than Regisaur. I'm not going to win by trying to race my opponent here. I need to draw like a Treasure Cruise here. Her loyalty doesn't really matter. She's dead if she gets hit anyway. Not gonna do it. Um, so I can make a servos block that. I can kill that. I think that's really all I have. She can't block anything they have um, unless they top deck exactly a phoenix. But I think I'm pretty dead anyway. So I might as well try to get some chip damage in. If they top deck a phoenix or a burn spell, I'm dead. Fall to two. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, treasure cruise or bust. And even treasure cruise probably isn't enough. Um, that's not terrible. A little, a little late when I have no other um, cards here. Let's exile that. Make you into a copy of you. And I'm dead to the flame blade, right? Yeah. Dead to flame blade. Probably shouldn't have opted there. It was a little greedy. Yeah, definitely not. I definitely should not have opted there. That was incorrectly assessing the board state. Uh, so my opponent runs giant, giant creatures. The Ashiok actually felt decent there. Um, Brazen Borrower felt really nice. Uh, turn two, thing in the ice. I will keep that. This is not a very good hand. Um, but I can't imagine a much better six. I need resources in this hand anyway. So I turn one, steam vents tapped. Turn two, thing in the ice. And then I can start playing from there. Thing in the ice is much slower in Pioneer than in Modern. Mostly because it's no lightning bolt. I mean, Lightning Bolt was just so good with Thing in the Ice. Just the next turn, cast Fiery Temper. And then start working on that treasure cruise. I need to stop drawing lands, though. It's something that I really don't want to draw any more of. Okay. Um... Fiery Temper or Ashiok? I think I'd rather have the Fiery Temper. If I play the Ashiok, she's dead to their 4-3, so I'd rather just wait one more turn if I can. Plus, it's not like they can Gurmag me here. So they need another Blood Rage Brawler and a land to be able to get that guy back. Okay. Opponent's flooding a bit. One, two, three, four, five. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Sure. Phoenix is gone forever. Slow down any Gurmag Angler threat. Um, I think I'm in an okay spot here. Two more spells to flip thing in the ice. Okay. They can kill Ashiok if they want to. And they do. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I want to bottom that because I already have a treasure cruise in my hand, but 
I will have enough to cast the one, which is pretty sweet. Opponent's got a hand full of cards now, and I have a quick clock. Any burn spell wins me the game. Not any, I guess. Um, wild Slash would, but I sided that out. Okay. That counts too. Oh, um, I need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just short. Probably should have saved the charter course. I was just hoping for one more spell. Okay, so next turn, my opponent is super dead. Thanks to my Arclight Phoenix. I like my opponent's deck, though. It's like a recreation of Hollow One. They're going face. Bin that. That was one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't matter, they're dead anyway. Want to know? Pretty happy with that. Uh, let's go check out the next one.